I did a speech, which was an informative speech about, like I was talking about, the inequality in America and how the punishment for poor people versus rich people is substantial. And um, so we as normal living civilians don't necessarily have like the right to um, judges as much as we think we might and the right to attorney as much as we think we might where somebody who can afford a lot can buy themselves out of the situations that they're in. Um, I'm going to use an example of a guy that I heard on an NPR radio station. He, um, this is a very extreme example, but he had no income whatsoever. He was previously a drug abuser and alcohol abuser, and so he had no job. His only steady income was going to sell plasma, and so that was like $25 a month or something like that. And so this guy went to a convenience store and stole a beer that was $1.29. And I mean, I'm sure you guys are thinking, like, wow, it's really not worth it, or whatever extent he's going to get a punishment. So a smart person would not have done that in the first place. But he did. And um, his punishment was 12 years of, pro 12 years, I'm sorry, 12 months of probation. And um, he had, because he couldn't afford an ankle monitor. So a typical person who could afford the lawyer fees and afford to um, just have the court date in general, if you, those are all things you don't think you have to pay for, but you really do. Um, he had, he got off, or he didn't get off near as easy as somebody who could have just afforded to have a lawyer in court. And um, so yeah, like I was saying, he was sentenced to 12 months of probation. And um, I, you've probably all heard of the Miranda Rights Man. Hopefully they haven't been read to you, but um, it says that you have the right to an attorney, and if you can't afford an attorney, then one will be provided for you. But one really isn't, I mean, it's provided, but it's still $50. And so for someone who has literally no income, $50, he doesn't have that. And so we, back in the day, we used to have this thing called debtor's prison, which I, this is where I don't agree. Um, poor people, in my opinion, should not be charged any greater than somebody who can just afford to get out of it. Um, I mean, yeah, like a $50 lawyer fee is probably really cheap compared to one of the best lawyers in the world, but just because that person can't afford a better lawyer than that, I don't think that that means that they should be sentenced any more than a regular person that can't afford it should be. Um, so back in the day, we had these things called debtor's prison, which we got rid of before the Civil War, but basically that's what we're still doing because somebody who can't afford it, like that man who bought that beer or stole that beer, is getting harsher punishment. Um, the other screwed up thing, in my opinion, is that public defenders are the ones who are reaping the benefits for this. So the people, if they get charged with a greater crime, then the people are making more money off of them. So they really shouldn't be able to do that, in my opinion. And so basically what we can do as citizens are vote. Make sure that your vote gets out there and be educated about what we're voting for. Um, if we vote one way, then hopefully that will make a difference. And um, our judges, I mean, there's nothing that we as people can do about this, but our judges just need to be 